Hi, I'm Michelle Ginsberg. I'm a uh, thoracic radiologist and I'm director of cardiothoracic imaging and vice chair of education at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York City. How do we know if a PET CT shows infection versus inflammation versus cancer? Well, the FDG uptake is not entirely specific for tumor, and it may be seen in benign uh, infectious or inflammatory processes, which take up this uh, radiopharmaceutical. So it can be difficult to tell the difference among these categories. However, what we do is we look for uh, usual patterns of uptake, and it's also very important to know the typical patterns of metastatic spread of the tumor. So for example, if you know that um, lung cancer generally goes to a certain pathway in the lymph nodes, uh, you, if you see it in lymph nodes that are completely out of that field, you may raise a different um, differential diagnosis. Now, it's also important to have the clinical history in these cases. And for example, if you know someone has a fever and a Y count, uh, then you may suggest pneumonia instead of a tumor because they may be very FDG avid. And on imaging at the initial imaging, there may be some overlap. Um, now, does the SUV help differentiate uh, malignancy from infectious inflammatory um, processes, uh, not reliably. So that's also a problem because uh, sometimes some tumors, depending on the type of tumor, they may have a lot of uh, uptake. Uh, infection and uh, usually has high uptake as well. So there is overlap and unfortunately not uh, very useful. Um, but I think if you use this study in the uh, context of the oncologic history, uh, that becomes very useful and also knowing the uh, typical pattern of metastases of the tumor helps with uh, figuring it out if it's um, just, met, uh, you know, if it's part of the metastatic disease or is it some uh, in, inflammatory process. And uh, for example, we know that with some of the uh, new um, immune therapy uh, treatments that you could have an, an, uh, sort of a flare phenomena. Uh, and you could see uptake in lymph nodes, but it's really just the flare phenomenon during the treatment, not representing uh, worsening metastatic disease in lymph nodes. So knowing uh, the context is vital. Fluorine 18 FDG uptake, uh, which is um, what we're referring to in PET CT imaging, refers to um, the um, tumor uh, metabolism and how it uh, takes this in and it sort of lights up. And what you see is actually a bright spot and some people refer to it as a hot spot on uh, these images. Generally, these hot spots either represent tumor or some inflammation or infection. SUV uh, refers to um, the uh, standardized uptake value, that's what it means. And it's really just a ratio of um, the um, radioactivity that you see in the um, tissue, in this case, let's say a tumor, compared to uh, normal tissue. So you um, compare those two and um, increased SUV um, generally correlates with uh, tumor, infection, inflammation. Mm -hmm.